He I, came home with a woman, and I told her to leave, and she didn't know that there was a baby and another woman there. So she agreed to leave. She, she didn't know there was a baby and another woman there? Yes. You mean you, the other yes, woman? Yes, me okay. and my child. She okay. had no idea we were there, and she gladfully left. Okay. He, in a rage, headbutted me twice, threw me against a wall. I got away from him by pushing all I could away from the wall. And... running to get my cell phone to call the police, which I did. The operator told me to go into the... Don't tell me what the operator <clears throat> told you. I went into the, my daughter's bedroom. There are no locks on any of the doors in the house, not even the bathroom. So I tried holding her door shut until the police arrived. And the, I was instructed to get Don't out of the house. Don't tell me what you were instructed to do. Okay. Just tell me what you did, what he said to you, what you said to him. So I was able to get out of the house with our daughter and the police came. They took our statements and they instructed him Don't not... Don't tell me what they said unless you have a police report. I do have, I have I'd like two. to take a look at it. Well, it appears that from the police reports, at least, after speaking to you, that you did not report to the police that he head-butted you twice. What the police officer noted after conversation with you, that you told the female to leave. She stated that Corey became angry, pushed her, and put his forehead against hers. That's what the officer said. That was said. incorrect. That's what the officer said. Mm -hmm. She had no complaint of pain and no visible marks of abuse. She further stated she really didn't want him going to jail but separated from her for the night he argued with the police probably a little drunk but I was, totally more, I was wrong, more upset not about getting kicked out of my wrong house. That you yeah. were being kicked out of your own house yeah. where plaintiff neither pays any of the bills yes, nor is it her home. However, you did separate to the extent that you slept it off in the garage. No, neg negative, ma'am. Where I, did you sleep? I uh, went to my buddies down the street after the police officer told me to leave. He gave me the option to go to jail or leave, so I left. Okay. Did you come back the next morning? Yes, ma'am. What time? It was around 7.30. Okay, and when he came back at 7.30, I want you to tell me what happened. He never left. I saw him walk in through the garage, which he was sleeping in his sleeping bag in the garage. Fine, so he was, but he didn't bother you. Whether he was sleeping at his friends down the street or in a sleeping bag in the garage, he wasn't near you for the rest of the night. He was instructed not to come into the house. Listen, listen to me carefully, not to come into his own home. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. You have three complaints. Your complaint is that he took your phone, yes. that he damaged your car, mm -hmm. and that he has your stuff. I've read the police reports, so let me tell you what the police say you told them. The second police report indicates that you went to the police because he was still there, mm -hmm. and when the police came back with you because you couldn't find your cell phone, and when you came back, came back with a police officer who notes that Miss Russell advised that she wanted to gather a few things from the home and that she would be going to stay with a family friend. That was the next morning. Mm -hmm. Officer Vasquez went back to Miss Russell's residence and observed Corey had placed all of her belongings in bags outside of the residence. Miss Russell gathered what she could fit in her vehicle and advised she would need to come back later for the rest of the items. Miss Russell further advised that she noticed a dent in her 2007 Jeep Patriot and believed Corey may have done it, but wasn't for sure. I was certain. Just a second. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. Noticed a dent. She believed he might have done it. Wasn't for sure. Miss Russell was able to leave the scene without incident.